You've heard of St. Dennis of France. He never had much for to brag on. You've heard of St. George and his lands, who killed the old heathenish dragon. The saints of the Welshman and Scot are a couple of pitiful pipers and might just as well go to pot. When compared to the patron of vipers, St. Patrick, of Ireland, my dear. He sailed to the Emerald Isle on a lump of paven stone mounted. He beat the steamboat by a mile, which mighty good sailing was counted. Says he, the salt water, I think, has made me unmerciful thirsty, so bring me a flagon to drink, to wash down the mulligums, burst you of drink that is fit for a saint. He preached then with wonderful force, the ignorant natives a teaching, with wine washed down each discourse. For, says he, I detest your dry preaching, the people in wonderment struck. At a preacher so pious and civil, exclaimed, we're for you, me old buck, and we'll heave our blind gods to the devil who dwells in hot water below. This finished our worshipful saint, went to visit an elegant fellow, whose practice each cool afternoon was to get most delightfully mellow that day with the barrel of beer. He was drinking away with abandon, says Patrick, I'm glad to be here, but I've drunk nothing to speak of since Landon, so give me a pull from your pot. Be lifted the pewter in sport. Believe me, I tell you, it's no fable. A gallon he drank from the court and set it back full on the table. A miracle, everyone cried. And they all took a pull on the stingo. They were mighty good hands at that trade. And they drank till they fell. Yet by jingo, the pot still frothed or the brim. Next day, said the host, it's a fast, and I've nothing to eat but cold mutton. On Friday, who'd make such repast? Except an unmerciful glutton, says Pat, stop this nonsense, I beg. What you tell me is nothing but gammon when the host brought down the lamb's leg. Pat ordered it turned into salmon and the leg most politely complied. You've heard, I suppose, long ago how the snakes in a manner most antic he drove to the county mayo and ordered them all into the Atlantic, hence never use water to drink. The people of Ireland determined with mighty good reason, I think, for Patrick has filled it with vermin and snakes and other such things. He was as fine a man as you'd meet, from fair head to kill crumper, though under the sod he is laid. Let's all drink his health in a bumper. I wish he were here that my glass. He might by art magic replenish, but since he is not why, alas, my old song must come to its finish, because all the drink, it is gone.